the divine with your eyes closed is meditation connecting with the divine with your eyes open is darshan come let us all now move from meditation to darshan slowly very slowly please open your eyes Yeah. 
बोलो हरे भक्त मानो हरा नंद हर हर बोलो हरे भक्त मानो हरा ओ नित्यानंद मन लाला ओ नित्य दिन दयाला ओ नित्य नट मर लाला ओ नित्य दिन दयाला नित्यानंद आनंद नंदना नित्य हर हर बोल हरे वो नित्य हर हर बोल हरे वो हर बोलो हर भक्त मनोहरा भक्त मनोहरा नित्य मनोहरा दीन दयाल हरि परम दयाला हरि गोविंद गोपाला रमन हरि गोविंद गोपाला दीन दयाल हरि परम दयाला नित्य रमन हरि गोविंद गोपाला नित्य रमन हरि गोविंद गोपाला बोलो हरे भक्त मनोहरा भक्त मनोहरा नित्य मनोहरा हर हर बोलो हरे भक्त मनोहरा भक्त मनोहरा नित्य मनोहरा
season 8 participants everyone from all over the world today paramashivoham season 8 graduation day my blessings to all the graduates i welcome everyone sitting with us in kailasa tv kailasas ntv kailasas hn tv I welcome all of you with my love and respect. Paramashiva's message directly from Kailasa. It's like a, almost like a briefing of the cosmos. Cosmos briefing you about the happenings of the universe and your planet earth physics chemistry biology of this pralaya pandemic happening listen
expansion of the universe accelerated is what i am saying as super conscious breakthrough happening the universe is consciousness it was expanding 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 suddenly the expansion is accelerated it is not the happening of the physical component alone no the happening is conscious the place where the atis and spiritual scientists differ is atis are trying to say this whole cosmos is just accident or coincident of materialistic happenings people who know the truth rishis inner scientists who knows the cosmos from the great hindu tradition not only they are declaring very clearly i tell you all my disciples i tell you from my personal experience i am telling you my personal experience in tune with the declarations of veda agamik rishis and paramashiva himself universe is consciousness esha vashyam idagun sarvam whatever exists is consciousness the super conscious breakthrough is what the scientists are telling expansion is accelerated understand the greatest good news for all my disciples you can use this opportunity to get in life to reach kailas i tell you all my disciples for all of you i give you this good news just plan your future with your hopes possibilities visions drop any fear you do not have fear you are not going to live your fears you might have prepared yourself see hoping for the best preparing for the worst is the way human beings function any intelligent human being functions but for you guys i tell you just hope for the best and go on working for your best you have no worst sorry for the technical glitch i'll repeat please listen all 
all my disciples i should say whoever is ready to listen to me whoever recognizes my identity and ready to listen to me to all of you i am talking understand universe is going through a powerful super conscious breakthrough enjoy your future plans hopes visions possibilities go on working for it consciously drop all the fears illusionary blind spots listen carefully fears unsubstantiated fears forms a kind of a magnetic force to attract negativity in your life and you start becoming frustrated violent murderers the core mass for a murderer is unsubstantiated fear core mass for a non violent being is parama shanta swarupa listen core mass of you should be non violence parama shanta swarupa absolute tyaga unclutching powerfulness surrender to parama shiva feeling connection with parama shiva oneness with parama shiva i tell you all these are multiple words but the same space if you start developing your core consciously the these practices cognitions experience i tell you you form a core for a most beautiful existence listen i'll repeat the core of a murderer will always be unsubstantiated fears the unsubstantiated fears only snowballs into anger frustration feeling violated then suicidal illusional arrogance then enters into murderous violent stop unsubstantiated fears through tyaga unclutching completion enlightenment living oneness ajapa ajapa mahavagya use all these powerful cognitions and drop the unsubstantiated fears see i am not saying if a poisonous snake enter if a poisonous snake enters your room you are expected to move out of that place i am not saying don't run away if a poisonous snake snake enters your room no i am only saying stop unsubstantiated fears shaking your nervous system constant snake may enter rarely in your into your room i if i see the percentage how many people's lives snake has entered into their room i can't even say 1% of the humanity it is less than 0.0001% but how many have visualized and allowed this fear shake their nervous system i can say 99.9999%
in how many places actually snake entered if you see the percentage how many people allowed this fear to shake their nervous system understand a casually a thought of what will happen worst coming and you dealing with it and dropping is okay but tons and tons and tons of time you are unsubstantiated fears shakes your nervous system that is what i am saying drop it you can easily drop by unclutching actually if you start practicing unclutching you don't even know how many fears you dropped your nervous system becomes so beautiful suma taga taga pala pala nu ulla abdiye parama shiva mayama minnum appa olagame your inner space should be like a kailasa shining taga taga pala pala like parama shiva no blind spot no unsubstantiated fear no unsubstantiated frustration no unsubstantiated anger i tell you anything which is not known to you do not be afraid see listen for example if you know a president of a country he knows you you know him will you be afraid of anything else under his rule same way all my disciples be rest assured parama shiva knows you it's my promise to you parama shiva knows you all my disciples who declared your integrity to me it's my assurance and promise to you parama shiva knows you do not be ever afraid of anything be loving don't be arrogant i am not asking you to be arrogant just be relaxed you are protected name bhakta pranashyat hey listen i really love you guys i will not lie i will only tell you guys very clearly where i can take care of you and where you will have to take the responsibility on your own i will very clearly bifurcate all that and tell you now i am making a very responsible statement all my disciples who declared your integrity to me to all of you. either you have declared your integrity to me or initiated or recognizing my identity in any one of this or all of this is enough i am not saying all this should be there even in any one of this if you fit yourself that's enough to all of you i tell you parama shiva knows you you know parama shiva do not be afraid you don't have to be arrogant but you do not need to be afraid
you do not need to be afraid unsubstantiated fear comes the core and from that the snowballing effect starts and demons are formed do not form the core for demon i have a beautiful verse i'll read out for all of you एष ब्रह्मैष इंद्रयेश प्रजापतिरेते सर्वे देवायि च पंच महाभूता पृथ्वी वायुराकाश आपो ज्योती शीतेता च चुत्रमिश्राणी वीचा दराणी चेतराणी चाटजा चारुजा चेदजा शोत्जा चाश्वागा पुषा अस्ति नो येत प्राणीजंगमच पदत्रिश्चर सर्व तत्ज्ञानेत्र प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठि प्रज्ञानेत्रो लोक प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठा प्रज्ञान ब्रह्म रीड द ट्रांसलेशन दिस् वन इज ब्रह्म दिस् इंद्र This is Prajapati. This is all these gods, and this is five elements: earth, air, space, water, fire, and this is all these together with the tiny ones that are the procreators of others and referable in pairs to wit those that are born of X, of Ums, of Maischer. and of earth horses cattle men elephants and all creatures that are which move or fly to those which do not move all these are impelled by consciousness in consciousness all are established all these have consciousness as the giver of their reality the universe has consciousness as its i and consciousness is its end consciousness is brahman pragna pratishta pragnanam brahma i tell you universe is consciousness this is rigveda aitreya upanishad first adhyaya fifth kanta third mantra प्रज्ञानं ब्रह्म प्रज्ञानं ब्रह्म प्रज्ञानं ब्रह्म आई टेल यू यूनिवर्स इज कॉन्शियसनेस परम शिवा इज कॉन्शियसनेस आई शुड से परम शिवा इज द सोर्स ऑफ दट कॉन्शियसनेस एंड ही नोस यू अंडरस्टैंड ही नोस यू बाय हिज ओन डिक्लेरेशन He has declared clearly in Vedas and Agamas. He knows the people who are initiated by his parampara. I am from the bona fide Guru parampara and received the experience and authentication of Parama Shiva. experience for myself an authentication authenticated to initiate others both the ways i have received his command only then i am doing my job so be assured parama shiva knows you you are protected 
I wanted all of you to watch one documentary, small video. I am playing now. Please watch. It's about Surya Siddhanta. I am going to be showing. Please understand. This is this book is from Maya, the father-in-law of Ravana. Mandodari's father. Listen. Hindu tradition is a cosmic science tradition. I operate not with any vested interest other than simply serving the human beings, supporting all of you in your superconscious breakthrough. I have one more video today to be presented to all of you. Please watch this, then I will continue the satsang. So, yesterday I showed a video. The essence of that is, universe is not only expanding, the expansion is accelerated. Now, I am giving you next video. Please watch this. Then I will continue the satsang and expand it. How many people know the facts of Ramana? the capture of Sita in the Indian epic of Ramayana. However, less known are the incredible achievements of his father-in-law, the King Maya. According to legend, the Hindu god Surya revealed to Maya a very specific knowledge of the cosmos, presumably to allow people on earth to worship him better. This series of treaties is known as Surya Siddhanta and is the oldest astronomy book in existence. It is surprisingly accurate. In fact, it is the oldest book in the world that describes the Earth as a sphere, but not flat, with gravity being the reason for the objects to fall on Earth, etc. Hindu tradition says that Surya Siddhanta is 2 million years old. Vedic tradition holds that in an oral form. It is believed that the current version available is more than 2,500 year old, still making it the oldest astronomy book in the world. The Surya Siddhanta is an incredible testimony of the advanced thinking of ancient Indians. In this text, one can find the roots of trigonometry, as well as essential mathematical inventions, such as standard notation and the decimal system. In addition, the text described gravity for a millennium before Sir Isaac Newton developed his theory in 1687. Explain these sidereal revolutions and how planets move eastward. Accurately calculate the size and position of distant planets, the duration of a tropical year and the amount of the time that has passed since its creation. Finally, in this discussion about how time passes, at different speeds, in different circumstances, it contains the seeds of relativity. Some excerpts from Surya Siddhanta. The average duration of the tropical year is 365.2421756 days, which is only 1.4 seconds shorter than the modern value of 365.2421904 days. The average duration of the sidereal year, the actual duration of the revolution of the Earth around the Sun, such as 365.256627 days, which is approximately the same modern value of 365.256630 days. This has been the most accurate estimate for the duration of the sidereal year anywhere in the world for over a thousand years. Not content to limit measurement to Earth, Surya Siddhanta also establishes the moment and the diameter of the planets. For example, the estimated diameter of Mercury is 3008 miles. 
an error or less than 1% of the currently accepted diameter of 3032 miles it also estimates the diameter of saturn as 73882 miles which again has an error of less than 1% of the standard notation of the currently accepted diameter of 74.580 in addition to inventing the decimal system the zero of the standard notation which gave ancient indian the ability to calculate billions when the rest of the world struggled with 120 surya siddhanta also contains the root for trigonometry you sin jaya cos sin khojya or perpendicular sign and reverse sign utkarm jaya for the first time the objects fall to the earth due to an attractive force of the earth therefore the earth the planets the constellation the moon and the sun remain in orbit due to this attraction this was also discussed in prasanna upanishad the surya siddhanta also goes into the detailed discussion about time cycle and that time flows differently in different circumstances the roots of relativity this work shows that spirituality has to do with the search for the truth and that science is a path as valid for god as living in a monastery it is the search for the truth that will eventually lead one ultimately to god thank you so much guys for watching this video if you like it like comment and subscribe if you I wanted <clears throat> all of you to watch this video once more, please, because I know the attention span of human beings. Even in my satsangs, in my classes, I repeat the sacred secrets, powerful truths at least three or four times. So even if you watched earlier, please watch again. Now I am. replaying it how many people know the facts of ramana the capter of sita in the indian epic of ramayana however less known are the incredible achievements of his father in law the king maya according to legend the hindu god surya revealed to maya a very specific knowledge of the cosmos presumably to allow people on earth to worship him better This series of treaties is known as Surya Siddhanta and is the oldest astronomy book in existence. It is surprisingly accurate. In fact, it is the oldest book in the world that describes the earth as a sphere but not flat, with gravity being the reason for the objects to fall on earth, etc. Hindu tradition says that Surya Siddhanta is 2 million years old. Vedic tradition holds that in an oral form it is believed that the current version available is more than 2500 year old still making it the oldest astronomy book in the world the surya siddhanta is an incredible testimony of the advanced thinking of ancient indians in this text one can find the roots of trigonometry as well as essential mathematical inventions such as standard notation and the decimal system in addition the text described gravity for a millennium before sir isaac newton developed his theory in 1687 explain the sidereal revolutions and how planets move eastward accurately calculate the size and position of distant planets the duration of a tropical year and the amount of the time that has passed since its creation finally in this discussion about how time passes at different speeds in different circumstances it contains the seeds of relativity some excerpts from surya siddhanta the average duration of the tropical year is 365.2421756 days which is only 1.4 seconds shorter than the modern value of 365 Point two four two one nine zero four days. The average duration of the sidereal year, the actual duration of the revolution of the Earth around the Sun, 
such as 365.256627 days which is approximately the same modern value of 365.256630 days this has been the most accurate estimate for the duration of the sidereal year anywhere in the world for over a thousand years not content to limit measurement to earth surya siddhanta also establishes the moment and the diameter of the planets for example the estimated diameter of mercury is 3008 miles an error or less than 1% of the currently accepted diameter of 3032 miles it also estimates the diameter of saturn as 73882 miles which again has an error of less than 1% of the standard notation of the currently accepted diameter of 74.580 in addition to inventing the decimal system the zero of the standard notation which gave ancient indian the ability to calculate billions when the rest of the world struggled with 120 surya siddhanta also contains the root for trigonometry you sin jaya cos sin khojya or perpendicular sin and reverse sin utkarm jaya for the first time the objects fall to the earth due to an attractive force of the earth therefore the earth the planets the constellation the moon and the sun remain in orbit due to this attraction this was also discussed in prasanna upanishad the surya siddhanta also goes into the detailed discussion about time cycle and that time flows differently in different circumstances the roots of relativity this work shows that spirituality has to do with the search for the truth and that science is a path has valid for god as living in a monastery it is the search for the truth that will eventually lead one ultimately to god thank you so much guys for watching this video listen knowledge empowers you makes you respond differently to the world and problems of the world same way consciousness empowers you when you are inspired when you are excited when you are initiated when you start practicing power manifestation the consciousness you experience empowers you makes you respond completely differently in a very powerful way for the happenings of the outer world the happenings of the outer world does not damage dent impact your inner space you live as kailasa powerful i tell you empowering yourself with consciousness powerful cognitions consciousness based powerful cognitions and powers of parama shiva is the best life i am from the tradition ecosystem which gave books like surya siddhanta understand i want to tell you for thousands of years we know the cosmos more than any scientist in the modern day for thousands of years we know all these great truths our lifestyle was established on all these great truths any simple priest doing puja in a 
विलेज टेम्पल इन इंडिया हुडस्त संकल्प मंत्र हो नोस एब्सोल्युटली मोर ट्रूथ्स अबाउट द कास्मास देन मेनी मॉडर्न डे साइंटिस्ट बिकॉज़ द संकल्प मंत्र द महासंकल्प मंत्र ही शुड नो बायोग्राफी ऑफ द होल यूनिवर्स एंड जियोग्राफी where he is sitting and the cosmology how the whole thing is functioning and mainly the relationship between this three for his present moment of when he is performing conducting this sacred ritual the whole thing he has to know only then he can do mahasangalpa that is the beauty of this great tradition hinduism has suffered too much because it got associated with politicians so the always the enemies of the politician see once hinduism gets associated with one group of politicians those politicians they are enemies naturally try to destroy not only their opponents the hinduism also that is the way hinduism has suffered too much my effort to make kailasa is to keep hinduism apolitical let hinduism be alive as it is in some one corner of the world for future because hinduism is worthy to be kept alive for the future of the humanity that is what is my whole effort i am not getting involved in any controversy i am not questioning anyone using hinduism or using anti hinduism for their politics some are using hinduism for their politics some are attacking hinduism for their political victory i am not getting involved in any of that i am not going to comment any of that i am not going to speak about any of it i am only saying one thing i want to keep hinduism apolitical alive as it is as a pure cosmic science enlightenment science one corner of the world so people who are interested in the pure enlightenment science hinduism can study get benefited enjoy entertain themselves entrain themselves enlighten themselves with hinduism see some are using hinduism to advance their political career some are attacking hinduism to advance their political career i am not talking about any of them i am not going to comment or name or support oppose i am not going to get myself involved in any of it i only want one thing i want to keep the pure hinduism apolitical in one corner of the world that's all that's it that's all i am telling all my sons and daughters all my kids study hinduism thoroughly in depth the core scriptures upanishad brahma sutra bhagavad gita this three is the core scripture i told one of my daughter i hey, memorize bhagavad gita i'm so happy sincerely she is doing and just by memorizing bhagavad gita she became very balanced inside and she is evolving such unimaginable way even i did not expect bhagavad gita will do so much good to her she is evolving like anything i want to tell all my daughters all my sons 
Study these three books, core values of Hinduism, Upanishads. See, Rama compiled the whole knowledge, enlightenment science, when he came into the body, he compiled the whole thing and gave, that is 108 Upanishads, Muktiko Upanishad. That's Rama's gift. The next incarnation, Krishna. Whatever knowledge was present at that time, he compiled the whole thing and gave. That is Bhagavad Gita. The next incarnation, Vyasa. Whatever was available at that time, he compiled the whole thing and gave the essence. That is Vyasa Sutra, Brahma Sutras. This three is the core books of Hinduism. Study them intensely. Then you will have the base knowledge to understand Surya Siddhanta, to understand Saiva Siddhanta, to understand Vaishnava Siddhanta, to understand anything of Hinduism. I just want to keep Hinduism apolitical Alive, true to its original spirit in one corner of the world. That is the reason I am making this Kailasa happen. I am doing this Kailasa. essence of what I want to convey today, today's message from Paramashiva directly, universe is consciousness, make your core more and more consciousness, when you make your core more and more consciousness, through these five major spiritual practices, unclutching, completion, Oneness, Ajapa Ajapa of Mahavagya, feeling connection, or any one of this, you can use two, three, four, five, all five, or any one. Any one of this will make you more and more conscious. When you make yourself more and more conscious, especially during this accelerated expansion of the universe happening, the period when accelerated expansion of the universe happening, you will get the lion's share of superconscious powers and breakthroughs. That's all I am saying. My blessings to all the Paramashivoham season 8 participants. I want to tell you, Paramashivoham is not just a program, it's a lifestyle. Paramashivoham only starts, never ends. Raise yourself more and more to higher and higher consciousness. Raise yourself with more and more higher and higher consciousness. Today we will have further two meetings. One.
first meeting will be Paramashiva Ganas, Brahmana, Vaishya, Kshatriya, Shudra, all four Varanas. Then the next meeting will be Paramashiva Ganas, only Brahmana Varana. I wanted to remind the Varana in Kailasa is your option. You choose. So, with this, I bless you all. I myself will help you all, support you all now to experience Kailasa. Please sit straight. You can either keep your eyes open or closed. That is up to you. If you are happy with unclutching, sit unclutched. If you are happy in doing completion, sit doing completion. If you are happy doing ajapa ajapa of Mahavagya, do ajapa ajapa of Mahavagya. If you are happy in sitting with in oneness, sit in oneness. If you can't, Close your mouth, close your lips. It's already e by seeing me. Just be in that state of bhava samadhi, joy and feeling connection. Anything is okay. Just sit. With the grace of Maha Ganapati. With the humble prayers to Nandi Ishwara. Paramashivoham. Let Paramashiva. Open the space of Kailasa to all of us. Let Paramashiva manifest in all of us. Surrender your form into Paramashiva's form. See clearly Paramashiva. Sutta Swayam Prakasa Jyoti Supernal Effulgence 25 heads, 75 eyes, 50 hands Manon Mani Parashakti seated in his lap Surrender your form into his form Surrender your name into his name. Surrender your consciousness into his consciousness. Let Paramashiva alone radiate. Paramashivam Umnityananda Paramashivam Paramashiva, inhale and exhale.
ಶ್ರೀನಾಭ್ಯುಗ ಪಾಜ್ವಲ ವಿಚಿತ್ರಕಚಿ ಭೂಷಣೈರಭಿಭೂಷಿ ಅನೇಕೋಟಿ ಸೂರ್ಯಾಪಹ ಪರಮಂದ ವಿಗ್ರಹ ಅಪ್ರಾಕೃತತ್ತನುಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ಲಕ್ಷಲಕ್ಷಣವರ್ಜಿ ಯೋವಾಚೋ ನಿವರ್ತಂತೆ ಅಪ್ರಾಪ್ಯಮನಸ ಗಂಗಾಶ್ರಯಜಟಾಜೂಟ ಚಂದ್ರರೇಖಾ ವಿಭೂಷಿ ಭಸ್ಮೋದೂಳಿತಸರ್ವಾಂಗ ಪ್ಯಾಲಯೋಪವೀತವಾನ್ ಕಪಾಲಮಾಲಾಧಾರೀ ಚ ವ್ಯಾಕ್ರಚರ್ಮಾಂಪರಾವೃತ ಪ್ರತಿವಕ್ರಣಯನ ಭಕ್ತಸರ್ವಾಸಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರ್ಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಪಾತ ಕುಂಚಯಿತ್ವೇದರ ಪದ ಅಭಯ ಶಕ್ರಶೂಲೆ ಚಂಗಪಾಣೌ ಗಾಂಬುಜೆ ಕಟ್ಕತೋಮರಶಕ್ತಿ ಪರಸು ಪ್ರಾಸ ಪಂಚಪನ್ ಅಲಂಗು ಸಾಕ್ಷಮಾ ಶುರಿಕಾಂಧ್ವಜದಂಡಕೌ ವಜ್ರಗುಂತಾಸ್ತಿತ್ರಗಂಚ ಪಿಂದಿ ಪಾಲಕ ಪಂಚವಿಂಸಿಹಸ್ತೈ ತಥಾನೋ ದಕ್ಷಿಣೈಶುಭೈ ವರಸಾವೌ ಮೃಗಂ ಚಂಗಂ ಕೇಡಪಾಸ ಪ್ರಶ್ವತ ಪರಶ್ವತ ಮುತ್ಕರಂ ಡಮರುಗಂ ಕಂಠ ರುದ್ರವೀಣಾಂಚುಸ್ತಕ ಕಪಾಲಮುಂಡಕಟ್ವಾಂಗ ಕುಶುಂಡಿ ಪರಿದಾನಪಿ ಪಲಗಂ ಪಟ್ಟ ಸಂವೇತ್ರ ಕಮಂಡಲೂಹುತಾಸನ ಕರ್ತರೀ ಮುಸಲಂಪಿ ಪಿಪ್ರತ್ವಾಮೈಸ್ತಕರೈ ಮಹಾನ್ ಸದಾ ಶಿವಸ್ಯೋಯಂ ರಾಜತೆ ತತ್ರ ಪರ್ವತ ಸರಂಡರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫಾಮ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಹಿಸ್ ಫಾಮ್ surrender your name into his name ಆನಂದ ಪರಮಶಿವೋಹಂ ಲೆಟ್ ಸ
सृष्टि सृष्टि स्थिति सृष्टि संहार सृष्टि प्रोभाव सृष्टि अनुग्रह सृष्टि सृष्टि स्थिति 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 संहार स्थिति प्रोभाव स्थिति अनुग्रह स्थिति सृष्टि संहार स्थिति संहार 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 प्रोभाव संहार अनुग्रह संहार सृष्टि प्रोभाव स्थिति प्रोभाव संहार प्रोभाव 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 अनुग्रह प्रोभाव सृष्टि अनुग्रह स्थिति अनुग्रह संहार अनुग्रह प्रोभाव अनुग्रह 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 ऑल दिस फेसस ऑफ परम शिव मैनिफेस्ट एंड ब्लस ऑल ऑफ अस परम शिव हम ओम नित्यानंद परम शिव हम ओम नित्यानंद परम शिव हम ओम नित्यानंद परम शिव हम Let's all radiate with integrity, authenticity, responsibility, enriching, casting, living, shuddhatvai the saivam, the state, space, powers, being, super consciousness, and kailasa of Parama Shiva. Parama Shiva ham, Om Nityananda Parama Shiva ham. कैलासोन्नतवादशाश्यामलाठारूढ़ीनाक्षिसुंदरेशरा भिन्न स्वूप परशिवपुत्ररत्न कुमार गुरमण्यतुल्यावतार श्रीपार्वतीस्तन्यपानलब्धदिव्यज्ञान विश्रुत सकल निगमागम सारूत द्राविड वेद प्रवक्ते श्रीमत्मशिवकुणागत मुक्ता मय चतुश्रयान गीयम छत्रचामर श्रीचिह कालादिमस्तरदावल्यलंकृत ज्ञान विज्ञान चक्रवर्ती सर्वजन संघ सद्यो निर्वाण दीक्षा व्ययापवर्ग वर्ष विश्राण जीमूत परमतकलभकेसरी शैव सिद्धांत स्थापनाचार्य श्रीराजाधिराज पांड्य महाराज गुरु क्षपण शाक्यादि महांधकार निवारण ज्ञान भानु वीक्षणानर्हाध्वजोच्छेदन पूर्वक श्रीमद्वृषभध्वजस्थापक शैव सर्वज्ञपीठारूढ़ सर्वज्ञपीठारूढ श्रीजगद्गुरु श्रीज्ञान संबंध देशिक स्वामी वागीश सुंदर माणिक्यवाचक स्वामीना अवतार भूत श्री ज्ञान संबंध स्वामी पुनरुद्धृत 
श्यामला पीठ सर्व पीठ त्रिनवत्युतर द्विशतम गुर महासन्निधान अरुण गिरीयोगीश्वर परंपरागत अरुणाचल सर्वीठ गुर महासन्निधान कैलास परंपरागत कांची कैलास सर्वीठ त्रयस्त्रिशदुतर द्विशतम गुर महासन्निधान निोत्सव निमंगल निल्याण निजि कैलास परंपरागत आदि कैलास निनंद पीठ महासंस्थान महासिंहासन पीठ कर्ता साक्षात्मशिव सूत कैलास परंपरागत वैवस्वतमुक्वाकु हरिश्चंद्र भगीरथ श्रीरामचंद्र शूरसेन इत्यादि अनवच्छिन्न सार्वभौम चक्रवर्ति परंपरागत चतुष्टि योगिनी मंडित चतुष्टि संप्रदाय प्रवर्तक मनुधर्मशासन सूर्यवंश प्राप्त सर्वज्ञपीठ सुरांगी साम्राज्य मूर्धाभिषिक्त चूड़ामणे साक्षात्मशिव सूत कपिल महागुरपुनरुद्धृत महानिर्वाणी पीठ अष्टोत्तर सहस्रश्री महामंडलेश्वर साक्षात्मशिव साक्षात सिंहासनाषिक्त समस्त गणनायक श्री महागणपति सरंभ अनवच्छिन्न पीठाधीश्वर गुरुपरंपरा प्राप्त अटल पीठ अष्टोत्तर सहस्रतम अष्टोत्तर सहस्र श्री अटल पीठाधीश्वर धर्म मुक्ति स्वर्ग पुस्वर्ण पीठ त्रयोविश गुर महासन्निधान कैलास परंपरागत आदिपीठ सर्वज्ञपीठ जगद्गु श्री कैलास पुनरुद्धारक श्री कैलास परमाचार्य श्रीमत्परमहंस परिव्राज काचार्यवर्य सच्चिदानंद प्रणवस्व श्रोत्रिय ब्रह्म निष्ठ श्रीमज्जगद्गु श्रीलश्री भगवच्छ्री निनंद परम शिव श्री ज्ञान संबंध देशिक परमाचार्य स्वामी अत्रगत्य पिपाल्य चस्मान विज्ञान वितरणेन विजयी भव विजयी भव जय जय